bounds. Hi guys, welcome to our lesson number six, the tilt switch. And this is again your friendly techie neighbor Gideon Boniel, and we will explore this tilt switch on this video. Welcome to our lesson number six, tilt switch. Introduction. The tilt switch is used here is a ball with a metal ball inside. It is used to detect small angle of inclination. Components used. One Arduino Uno board, one USB data cable, one tilt switch, and several jumper wires. Experimental principle. The principle is very simple. When the switch is tilted in a certain angle, the ball inside rolls down and touches the two contacts connected to the pins outside, thus triggering circuits. Otherwise, the ball will stay away from the contacts, thus breaking the circuits. As you can see on our illustration, the metal ball, if it rolls down with an inclination, so it touches the point A and B, uh, the line A and B. So from here, it's not connected, but when it's inclined, the schematic equivalent is the A and B will touch to each other. Experimental procedures build the circuit. Step 1 is to build the circuit. So this will be the connection of our tilt switch to the Arduino Uno board. And again, this will be our schematic diagram representing the actual diagram, the circuit diagram. So we have again four experimental procedures. Step 1, build the circuit. Step 2, program. Again, please refer to the example code. Step 3, compile the code. And step 4, upload a sketch to the Arduino Uno board. After that, tilt the switch and the LED attached to pin number 13 on Arduino Uno board will light up. So this will be the representation of our connection here. Hi guys, welcome to our lesson number 6, the tilt switch. So basically this is the tilt switch. This is how it looks like. Um, the connection here is very simple. You connect uh, one of the pins of this tail switch to pin number two, and the other one is to pin uh, to the ground. So I'm here connected to a female to male wire, and the other side. Let's just say that this red wire goes to pin number two, and the other the other wire goes to the ground so this is the connection if so again the the logic here is if this tilt switch tops to each to the bottom here then it will connect um, a continuous connection so the LED in pin number 13 or the built-in LED will light up so let's try it. Let's power it up. So there. Let's put it this way. But when we put it like like this, the lights still not on. But if we tilt it, that means the connection is continuous within the power supply. Okay again no contact no contact with contact no contact with contact that's it so uh, guys welcome again to our lesson number six the tilt switch and for this um, episode we're also going to show you the arduino code and basically this is the only um code and we call it the sketch here for arduino and give credit to the one who really made this one and as we all know we have here the constant int integer lead pen is equals to 13 so basically this is all also our um in uh, default pin in arduino uno so we have void setup here let's set the lead pin as output and then pin mode to input and the input or the one of the tips of of the tilt switch will be on the pin number two of the Arduino board and digital right to as I we set it as high so um, it is automatically turned on and for our void loop we run this code 
again and again so it since it's loop so digi in digital value so it reads the digital value of the pin number two so if high is equal equal to digital val so we can also interchange this one if digital val is equal or equal to high if tilt switch is not break over digital write low turn the led off so else here if digital write led pin high so once the 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 initial value is high since we set the pin number two to high so that's the initial value when when the, the pin inside the tail switch is not connected to each other but if we tilt it then this code here is executed so digital write led pin high so that's why the pin uh, the led pin in 13 of the arduino board lights up if our tail switch is tilted accordingly so that's it very simple code you you just have to understand it very well so that's it guys stay tuned for more